Never write passwords down. You've all heard that cybersecurity advice before, and in this video, I am going to explain why it is terrible advice and what you can do to keep your passwords safe. Welcome to my series on cybersecurity lies, debunking the cybersecurity untruths that cybersecurity professionals will tell and the lies that we tell ourselves about online security. You're with me, Dr. Jessica Barker, cybersecurity CEO, speaker, and author. Let's get to it. So you'll have all heard the advice to never write your passwords down. And of course, in an ideal world, this is good advice but we don't live in an ideal world. Now, the reason for this advice is that cybersecurity professionals don't want you storing your passwords in a way that other people could get to them and access your accounts, because 99% of the time, that's gonna be a bad thing. We wanna keep our accounts secure so that only we can access them. Because we don't live in an ideal world, when people are told not to write passwords down, what they generally will then do is use weaker passwords and they will reuse those weaker passwords across multiple accounts. Why? Because otherwise we're asking people to remember hundreds of unique strong passwords. And who can do that? I'll tell you who, no one. So I'm gonna share some truths, some of the reality around passwords, how you can manage them, how you can keep them secure, so ultimately how you can be safer online. You do need strong, unique passwords. And this is because when cyber criminals are compromising accounts, they aren't sat trying to guess one password after another themselves. They are using huge password cracking dictionaries and tools. They will have so many different options of potential passwords, all including dictionary words, known phrases, favorite TV programs, favorite movies, favorite football teams, anything you can think of that they then use to try and crack and compromise our passwords. This is what you're going up against. So it's really important to have strong, unique passwords, and I'm gonna tell you how to do that. There is a way to have strong, unique passwords for all of your accounts without it becoming a huge security headache. And you do this by finding a way to manage them. The number one way is with a password manager, which essentially is a piece of software that acts like a vault, a secure vault in which you can keep all of your different passwords and it will even generate them for you generating strong passwords so you don't have to sit there at that point where you're setting up a new account trying to think what is my password going to be now and how am i going to make it strong the password manager will do all of that heavy lifting a lot of people worry when it comes to password managers that they're putting all of their security eggs in one basket. But if you use a reputable, trusted password manager, you can be confident that it is encrypted and that it has been scrutinized by the security community who will make sure that it is tested as thoroughly as possible to find and fix any bugs that may be there. Also, when it comes to password managers, because they enable you to generate and store unique passwords for all of your accounts, that is much, much, much safer than reusing weak passwords that you generate and store in your head. But I understand that password managers aren't right for everyone. And so we come back to this idea of writing passwords down. Now, if you're in an office environment, then writing passwords down and keeping them on a sticky note or in your desk is not a good idea. And I'm sure it's against company policy. But if you're at home and if you trust the people that you share your home with, then writing your passwords down is much, much better than trying to remember them. And this is because if you try to remember passwords, you will end up using weaker passwords and you will end up reusing them. 
But if you write them down, you can take the time to come up with more complicated, more secure passwords, and you can make sure you're not reusing them in different accounts. So there you have it. That is why it is very naive advice to tell people never write passwords down. Cybersecurity is a little bit more complicated than that. And when we're giving advice, we have to understand how people take that advice and actually whether it leads to unintended consequences where people end up with more risky practices than if we were giving the advice in the first place. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Cybersecurity Lies. There are plenty more to come, but if you have a question about cybersecurity, please leave it for me in the comments and maybe it will feature in a future video.